the hint, tip, and trick of the week. Week, week, week. Um, so, so I'm I'm a sucker for these. This is Excalibur, and it's not the only one that you can use. But I'm a sucker for the let me draw in my code window because <laughs> then I don't have to find another website and figure that all out. I can just open the new tab and draw my really terrible diagram, and then uh, move it back into code where I feel more comfortable. <laughs> So what was the pur- I was looking through this earlier and what is the purpose of doing this? Like, what's the benefit, I guess? Well, I, I do see that they'll let you have SUVs and, and pings as well. Um, but mm-hmm. for me, it was just being able to, you need to, again, draw a quick diagram. Maybe you need a flow chart for what you're about to work on. You need a, um, is it ERD? What's the database one for entity relationship oh, diagram, um, right? Right. ERM or ERD, ERP, something like that. Yeah. So any of those you can draw just right in here. Again, not the only tool, but um, I thought we'd highlight that one today. Yeah. ERD, you're right. For yeah. the the bonus one, I'm going to switch to showing my screen now. I found this and I wasn't sure if I thought it was useful. It's called No Comments. And it says, remove all code comments in a file. And I'm sitting here like, that sounds... Why would you do that to yourself? Um, and their their pitch is you're copying code from like Stack Overflow or AI generated code, and you just have comments that you do not care about. And so instead of deleting it one by one, you can use this to remove, you know, a single line comment, mul- a whole multi line comment, all this kind of stuff. So I guess uh, if you don't like all the comments in Ben's code and you're copying it, you can now use the no comments extension and. Uh, I see what you did. get rid of it <laughs> again i don't know i think that's a good idea but yeah it, it exists <laughs> i think the bigger issue is why is somebody copying that much stack overflow code without cleaning it up uh, and... And then, or, or it's ai now and they just they oh, wrote yeah. a, a comment for the ai to write code and then they don't want the comment at the end i don't know again I, I think... not a problem i've had but it exists I guess I can understand the Ben stuff. You just trust it because Ben's, you know, pretty known <laughs> quantity, but random stack overflower. I'd be a little trust, but verify. <laughs> uh, that, that's why you have tests, right? So you can copy random code. And when it doesn't work, you're like, okay, well, Eric, not to burst your bubble, but I think the, the developers that might just copy paste random over so code might not have tests. Hey, you know what? I copy <laughs> Stack Overflow code and use AI generated code, and I have tests, so it exists. True, but you don't just paste it and move on. You actually, you know, it depends. Depends on how confusing it is. <laughs> Sometimes when I've been dealing with like bitwise operations, I just copy that in. I'm like, sure, okay, that that's looks, fair. That looks fine. We'll that's pretend fair. that works. <laughs> <laughs> And now we got a new beta of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, no, not quite, but yeah. <laughs> that was our VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. Brought to you by Modernize and Die Podcast, CFML News Edition. Proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on cfmlnews.modernizeordie.io or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel.